Hey, what's up everybody? Today I will share with you a Python script that I wrote a few days ago that basically saves my time. So being a full stack developer, sometimes I work with React based web application development, sometimes Flutter based mobile application development. And when I switch technology, I need to open some website for that particular technology. So for example, when I work with Flutter, I open the official Flutter website, some of my uh, notes about Dart programming language that I written in my GitHub repository and official pub.dev directory and sometimes two or more uh, websites. So what I did, I, re I wrote a Python script that basically read a text file and in the text file I have written all the website those I needed for that particular uh, technology. So if I uh, open or run that Python script, it automatically opens the web browser and automatically loads the websites for me. So basically this saves my time. So let me show you the demo first. So right now I'm in a directory, the directory name is web where there are three files, websites.txt, browser-script.py, a python script and flutter.sh, a shell script. So if I run this uh, shell script by double clicking this, you will see that the Google Chrome browser opened and the website name that I written on the text file is loaded in here. So this is basically saves my time if I need to uh, create different website. For example, if I change the websites uh, with something different, for example, I want to add suppose uh, google.com, for example. And I save this file and if I run this flutter.sh file again, you will see that each of these website is loaded and finally the google.com is also loaded. So let's write this script together. First file name is the uh, websites.txt where we will uh, write some website name so let me write something like get another file this file name is browser-script.py and now let's get another file a shell script file and i am giving the name flutter.sh okay so in the browser-script.py uh, we will write the python code uh, there is a built-in library that is called web browser in Python when you install Python 3 in your system You will get that library. So let's import that library web browser and Then import sys we need this library as well import time So now let's define a main function define main So here for testing purpose, I'm just printing something in the console that opening favorite sites okay now uh, let's uh, give some default name so for example I want to define a variable name sites where I want to define the text file name websites dot txt file and also I want to uh, use the Chrome browser for this case so I will define another variable browser and i will give the name chrome so basically if you are if you want to use google chrome you have to give the browser name chrome if you want to use safari you have to use the name safari and this is the default value and now let's uh, write the actual code for this web browser so let's create an instance of this web browser so wb browser web browser dot get and then you have to uh, give the browser name so here we define the browser name chrome so i just pass that variable here and now uh, so we created basically a web browser instance in here wb browser and now we want to read this text file website dot txt so using open function we can easily do that So basically uh, using this open function we are uh, reading the sites, the sites is defined here, the website.txt and we define this uh, this function basically return an object and we which we give an alias that f object. 
so and then in the try except block we are basically enumerate that f object to read each of this uh, website name and then when we get that thing the url we are basically using this wb browser instance open new tab this function or this method and then where we are passing this url hmm. and we are using this step method to if there is any space we just want to remove that and then what we are doing we are just write rotate time dot slip uh, method to and pass a one for one second so that after opening a website it slips one second and then uh, open the next website and if there is any error we just uh, print that in the console and here at the bottom we are basically writing this extra code that if uh, dunder name equal to dunder main then call this main function so basically in python programming language there is no main function so this is a common practice that if this script is run as a main file then just call this main function where we are de basically define our program so here in the google chrome uh, sorry here in the visual studio code editor there is a terminal section so if i run this program here what i have to type dot slash python uh, sorry i have to type python 3 as i am in my mac so by default mac has python 2 and python 3 that's why i have to mention python 3 if you are using windows then in that case maybe your python may uh, target the python 3 so anyway so python 3 then uh, the current directory and the file name is browser script so if i run this program here you see the two sites flutter.dev and google.com is opening in my chrome browser so basically i put the two site name in this website.txt so our python program is done very simple and detailed program that automate uh, the opening the web browser and open some websites but now what we want to do we want to write a shell script so that this shell script automatically run this python script okay so our shell script is done so basically here using the special com uh, special comment comment we are mentioning that we want to use the shell program from the uh, root and bin directory and then I am checking that if there is any already Google Chrome is open any Google Chrome process is open that should be killed by using this command and then I am running this python3 command and then I am passing the uh, the python script location so in this case it is uh, my desktop demo and web directory and also I am passing the website.txt text file location and finally I am passing the browser name so and after that i just uh, write that exit zero that means the terminal will be closed automatically and now we have to add extra code in our browser dash script dot python file so basically here we are writing two if condition to access and capture these extra values So our two if conditions are done. So basically this two if condition checks that if there are these values, these uh, sites, websites name and Chrome uh, and the browser name is provided, then this two if condition basically capture those values and uh, replace uh, these sites and browser variables in here. So now let's go to our directory and let's run this script but it's not working so why it's not working let's uh, try this in visual studio code editor terminal so if i type here uh, flutter dot ss i am seeing that there is a permission denied is showing so uh, because i am using mac os so permission when you want to execute any file you need some permission issue so i want to change the permission so i uh, in my mac i have to type in this uh, terminal sudo then uh, ch change mode this command 0777 and uh, flutter.ss file so i have to give my password and now it should work so let's try this again and you see uh, from the vs uh, code editor terminal it's working and now i let's close this thing and i also want to close the chrome browser to show you one uh, problem so now go to the directory in the web directory and if i run this flutter.shell script you see it is not working so 
why the reason is that and what i noticed in mac os if you want to open google chrome using escape you first have to open the chrome browser so that means your chrome browser should be in open mode and now i already opened the chrome browser but close the tab and now if i run this flutter.shell script in here you see now it's working but this problem does not happen for safari browser let me show you so i close this google chrome browser and come here in the shell script and i want to change this chrome to safari 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 browser name and if i go to the uh, directory and my safari browser is not open and now if i run this flutter.shell script safari browser automatically open there is no issue so that means if you want to use safari browser you do not have to uh, already open that safari browser it it just works but for google chrome you need to open the google chrome first and then you have to run the script then it will work so you can use this script for your own purpose and thanks for watching that's it for today and keep learning